Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about that magical moment when that mature egg is released from the ovary called ovulation. Probably one of your favorite topics. So this is part three of the amazing menstrual cycle series. In the first video, we talked about the period. In the second video, we talked about the follicular phase in general. And today we're gonna to dive into ovulation. So come on, let's go. And welcome to the Fertility Godmother Show where we discuss all things fertility. Hi, I'm Denise Noyer Rez. I'm your host and I'm your fertility godmother. And if we haven't met before, I am a Chinese medical physician and a nutritionist by profession and an expert fertility health and life coach by trade. And what that means is I get to work with couples that wanna do everything they can to increase their chances of getting pregnant by optimizing their health and fertility so they can get pregnant, stay pregnant, and have a healthy baby. Ovulation is a fantastic event in a woman's menstrual cycle. It's the magical moment where a special guest is released from the ovary to find its potential partner, the sperm. Just imagine your ovaries as two little homes of where all these eggs live. And during ovulation, only one of these eggs grows up and gets to be released into the world. To prepare for this journey, another hormone steps in and it's called luteinizing hormone, or we can call it the lucky hero that triggers ovulation. LH or luteinizing hormone is like the conductor of this beautiful orchestra as it rises and signals the ovary, letting it know it's time to release that egg. And when LH reaches its peak, it sends a trigger of events that occur. So that mature egg burst out of the ovary in order to meet its potential partner, the sperm. Now let's talk about the timing. I know that's what's on your mind. Ovulation usually happens in the middle of the cycle. If you have a 28 day cycle, you'll usually ovulate around cycle day 14. So sometimes if you have a longer cycle, we can work backwards. So if you have a 30 day cycle, you just take 14 days off from the back and which means you probably ovulate around day 16. Does that make sense? So during this moment, a woman's body becomes incredibly fertile. It's a special window of opportunity for conception and the chances of getting pregnant are the highest. If the sperm happens to meet the egg during this time, there's a huge potential for the egg and the sperm to join forces and start a new life leading to pregnancy. To sum it up, ovulation is really a remarkable time. And luteinizing hormone is the key to really creating a strong ovulation. You also wanna pay attention to fertile mucus, which is that egg white stretchy discharge during ovulation as a sign that you are ovulating. So you can pay attention to basal body temperature charts, BBT charts, but also pay attention to your body and look for that fertile mucus. And that will help take some of the pressure off the timing. Another thing I want you to remember is when you're trying to conceive, sperm can last from three to five days inside a healthy environment. So you don't have to always hit this exact time, even though ovulation is your peak potential. As long as the sperm is in there a couple days before you ovulate, you still have a great chance. So don't worry so much about missing the mark. Ovulation and our menstrual cycles are such an amazing part of a woman's body. I hope this video was helpful in helping you understand more about ovulation and timing of when to have sex when you're trying to conceive. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode when we talk more about the luteal phase. And if you're struggling to get pregnant and you need more support, please sign up for a free clarity session so we can talk about ways that I can help you. I'd love to be able to support you on this journey. Sending you oceans of love. And until next time, I'm Denise Noyer-Arez, your fertility godmother, wishing you a healthy, happy pregnancy.